Assalamu alaikum, this is Bali Kiss. So today's tutorial is on how to make a ruffle maxi dress, a step by step guide. So I'm going to be drawing the pattern on my pattern paper and then I'm going to transfer it to my fabrics. You can draw it directly on your fabrics. So to know the amount of pattern paper or fabric to fold, just divide your highest body circumference by 4, then add about 5 inches to it. So for me it is 34, divided by 4, that's 8.5, then plus 5. That's about 13.5, 14 in short. So I have more than I need on fold. So I'm just going to insert my measurements now. So I'm inserting, I'm going to place my horizontal measurement first. So the first measurement I'm going to insert is my ham hole divided by two. So my ham hole is 16 divided by two, so that's eight. So I'm just inserting that. And with my straight through I'm, I'm just going to make a line so after that I'm going for my for my waist so my waist is 15 so I'm just marking 15 and I'm going to rule it then the next measurement I'm going to mark is where I'm going to place my hips and that's 25 for me so I'm just marking 25. For this, you can just take your tape to where your hips is, to where your bust is, to where your waist is, to know where you're going to place them. So my straight line, I'm just going to make a line. Then I will check the length of my pattern paper, which is 40, and it's okay for me. Then the next measurement I will insert. The next measurement I'm going to insert is my back measurement. So my back is 15 divided by 2, that's 7.5. Because this is a magazine dress, I'm just going to add half an inch similar one. So that's 8. So I'm just checking 8. And I'm making a straight line with it. Then I'm going for my neckline. I'm using 3x3, three 3 three for the width and 3 for the width. So I'm just marking 3 inches. So I'm just going to make a square with it. Then with my rule, I'm going to make my neck off. Then I'm going for my shoulder slope, so I'm just going down from the half more point by one inch because the shoulder is not always straight. So I'm going down one inch. Then I'm taking the midpoint of my ham hole, and with my ham hole cuff, I'm just going to make my cuff. You can use your hand. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to start inserting my horizontal measurements. So for my bust now. My bust is 34 divided by 4, that's 8.5. My waist is 26 divided by 4, that's 6.5. My hips is 34 divided by 4, that's 8.5. Then the same, the same thing I inserted at my hips, I'm just going to insert it at the down part of my pattern paper. And I'm going to connect the lines. So from my hand mode to my waistline, I'm making it straight. Then from the waistline to the hips, I'm using my hip cuff to connect it. Then from my hip line down, I'm just going to make a straight line. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my ease allowance. This, this is a maxi dress, it is a free dress. So I'm going to insert my ease allowance of 2 inches. So I'm just inserting it and I'm going to insert the same thing at the down part. Then after my ease allowance, I'm going to insert my seam allowance, which is one and a half inches. So I'm just inserting one and a half inches. Then I'm just going to connect those lines. I'll connect them at my seam allowance. So I'm connecting at the seam allowance. I'm sorry, please ignore that first line. I made a mistake. I'm connecting by the same allowance, not at the ease allowance. So I'm just connecting with mine.
So the next thing I'm going to do is to give my armhole the same allowance of half an inch. So I'm just marking half an inch round. And I'm connecting. So I'm just connecting it. So I'm just taking half an inch for my shoulder allowance also, my shoulder seam allowance. So I'm tracing it to my neckline. So I marked that already. So this is the pattern I'm going to be placing on my fabrics to cut. So I'm just going to cut that. So I'm just cutting. So I'm just cutting. So So after cutting, this is what we are going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to place it on my fabrics. To know the amount of fabrics to fold. Just take your body circumference and add about 16 inches to it. And then fold it into four. And then place your pattern on it or just draw directly on it. So I have this. Since I already draw my pattern paper. So with my chalk, I'm just going to start tracing the lines. I'm just going to start tracing the lines. I'm doing that already. So after tracing the lines, I'm just going to remove my straight pins that I used to hold down the pattern paper and then show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to cut. So after cutting, this is what we are going to have. So I'm just going to open it up to show you what it looks like. <coughs> so we are just going to sew it by about half an, one and a half inch down and then the shoulder by half an inch and then the other side by one and a half inches. So before we take it, for our ruffle, we need to take the, the, the measurement of the down parts of our gown. So for this now, it is 13. So that means 13 in four places because the fabric is folded into four. So that's 52. So I want my ruffle to be a little bit full. So I want to use two and a half, times two and a half of it. If you like, you might use times two. If you like, you might use times three. But me, I want two, about two and a half of it so it can gather a lot. So I have 130. So for my ruffle now, the ruffle part, I'm going to have 130 inches long fabrics. Then to note, the breadth of my fabric, I'm just going to take the measurements here. So I have about 43 inches here. 
One hint will be for the same allowance, so I have 42. And since my gown length is 55, so I'm just going to take 55. So I'm just going to take. Since my gown length is 55, I'm just going to subtract 55 from 42. And that will give me about 13 inches plus one inch seam allowance, so that's 14. So I'm going to be cutting 130 inches long by 14. So I'm just taking my measurement to be sure that I have 40. So I have a fabric that is 28 inches long, so I just divide it into two. So I'm just going to be cutting that into two now. I'm dividing it into two. So after dividing into two, I will just take my measurements to check if I have my 130 inches long fabric. So that is folded into four. So when I calculated, I have my 130. So the next thing is to go to the sleeve cutting. So for the sleeve, my hem hole is 16 divided by two, that's eight. Plus one inch, see my allowance, so that's nine. So at least I must have nine in folds. So my sleeve length is 22 minus 15. I want to make the upper sleeve 15. Then the lower one, seven. The lower one is the gathering part. That is the sum will be for the gathering part. So basically the sleeve I want here now should be about 15 inches. So I'm just... I'm confirming my measurement, so I have the measurements that I need. I have nine inches also. Then I will be going in by 3.5. <coughs> I got that by dividing my bust by 12, then adding 0 0.5 to it. So I just divided my busts by 12, then had, I added 0.5 to it. So my sleeve, my round sleeve is 10 divided by 2, that's 5, plus 1 in seam allowance, that's 6. So with my straight ruler, I'm just going to be making a line. I did that already. And I'm just going to cut. So I have my sleeve already. So to know the ruffle for our sleeve, I'm just going to take the sleeve measurements. So I have six. So that is times two, that's 12. So basically the sleeve is around 12. So I want the sleeve length to be multiplied by 2.5 also. Just like the ruffle of the gown. So I'm having 30, so I should have 30 inches long by 8 inches. The remaining part of my sleeve should be about 7 inches, but I need 1 inch for my elastic. So that would be 8 inches. So I'm having 30 inches long by 8 inches. And I'm going to cut 2 of that for my 2 sleeves. So I'm just going to cut from this fabric. I'm taking my measurements to be sure that I have what I need.
So this is 30 inches by 16 inches. So I'm just going to divide it into two to get my ruffle for the two sleeves. So I'm just dividing it for both of my sleeves. So this is for one of my sleeve. And that's for the second sleeve. And then the next thing I'm going to cut is my waist belt. The maxi dress has a waist belt. So this is the many fabrics I have. The belt should have been a long strand, but since I don't have much fabrics again, so I'm chalking about four and a half inches. So by the time I fold, it should be about almost two inches. So I'm just marking four and a half inches. And I'm just going to cut. For the belt, the minimum you should cut for it is about 60 inches. The minimum you should cut is about 60 inches. It should be about the waist times two and a half. So I'm just going to place that to cut about three of it. So I'm cutting about three of it. So I've done that already. So I have three of that for my waist belt. So what I will do is just to join the three together to make a long strand. Yeah, I'm just going to join them like that. To make a long strand for my belt. So that's that. So I will see you in the sewing class. Thank you so much for watching.